Hi everyone, I just got back from having coffee with the guys from Adtel, and Adtel are the company that are behind the Baron brand. Uh, I recently reviewed their digital TV antenna. Now, let me say those guys are super smart, like they know their stuff. We've just been speaking about solar, roofing, installations, solar water heaters, like everything you can think of. They're involved in a lot of different things. Um, so anyway, what do we have? Well, this is the Baron Solar Kit. This is a, as you can imagine, solar powered lighting kit with battery, like everything's included in this one kit. Super simple, plug and play. Now, let me say, I'm not gonna be reviewing this today. That's gonna be in a future video. What I'm gonna be doing today is opening this up and taking a look inside because I haven't even opened it and looked myself yet. Now, I don't get to keep this. I have to give this back to them, but maybe if we can build up enough interest, they might allow me to give this away. I'm not promising anything because as far as I know they want this back but maybe we can try and convince them um, so no promises but let's try so let's start opening this thing up before I do that though Mr. Black come here let's do a guest appearance of Mr. Black hello say hello to everyone no come on oh you're on tricky feet now aren't you okay <laughs> anyway that's Mr. Black so let's go ahead and take a look inside like I say, I have not opened this up yet. I have no idea, well, I have a rough idea what's inside. I mean, the picture's pretty obvious, but uh, let's have a look. Okay, that's a bit smaller than I expected. That's obviously holding the battery, the charge controller, everything like that. Yeah, it's got a bit of weight to it, so I'm assuming it's a lead acid battery. I tried not to do too much research beforehand. I mean, I took a rough look, but I tried to keep it basic so that I can have some surprise when I open it up. Then here's one of the lamps and Wow, that's quite interesting actually. It's got like a reflector around the outside. Let's open this up and take a closer look. It comes with a nice long cable, that's good, because some of these kits that include lights, they have really short cables, and it's like, well, how am I meant to hang that if the cable's so short? This looks pretty long. It's LED based, of course. Let me bring that in for a bit of a closer look. There you go. So, okay, that's one. Let me put that back in the bag before I scratch it up. And then we have a second one of those over here. I won't open it because it's the same. Then at the bottom here, we've got an AC charger because let's be honest, it's not always sunny. Sometimes you might wanna recharge this kit from the wall. So you can recharge it using AC electricity. Let's say it's been raining for like five days, your battery's gone dead. Plug this in, charge it from the mains. And then what are these cables here? Okay, this is like a USB adapter. I'll open it up to show you. It's one of those like universal types. You can plug it in. It's a shame, hmm, would have been better if they just put a standard USB port on this, because then you could plug something else in much more easily. What is this? I mean, this looks like a 3.5 mil jack, so it would be easy enough to DIY something if you wanted anyway. So maybe we'll look at that later actually. And then a bunch of screws and bolts. I guess that's for mounting the solar panel on your roof and everything like that. Of course, you don't have to mount it on the roof. You could just sit it somewhere as long as it's safe and it's not gonna fall off. And this must be the solar panel itself. Wow, it's got some weight to it, I'm surprised. So if we look at the stats on the front here, you won't be able to read this, but I'll read it to you. It's from Sucam. I've heard that brand before, but I haven't tried it. 10 watts, which is good because some of these kits come with much smaller solar panels. Yeah, let's take a look inside. Now, I assume the wire must be in here. Otherwise, where's the wire? Let's see. Ah, there you go. Yep, that's the wire. Again, that looks like a long cable. I don't know how long. Remember, this is only an unboxing. It's not a full review. Oh, nice. It's got some built-in legs. Let's try these out. Oh, sorry, not legs, but mounting. Like, obviously, that will bolt on there, and then you can bolt it to your roof, or you could sit it on grass, or anything like that. Yeah, looks like an okay panel. Whew, that was close, I nearly hit the cap. So let's take a better look at this unit, the main unit that holds the battery. Okay, so they've got individual switches on top to turn on and off each load, which is good because if you leave them turned on, even with nothing plugged in or anything connected, sometimes the voltage regulators and the related circuitry will waste electricity. So I like that they've got those dedicated switches. Now, I don't want to say too much because this is not a full review. This is just an unboxing. Um, and this actually gives you the opportunity, like if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below and then I can answer those in my full review video. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little briefcase size. Of course, basically this solar panel plugs into here. Simple plug 
you know, simple plug-in connection. You don't have to be an electronics engineer to work that out. And then you plug in your lights, your USB connector, that's it, put it in the sun, simple. So that was just a quick video, a quick unboxing. We'll do a full review later. I wanna say thanks to the guys at Adtel for letting me review this, bringing it over, meeting me, you know, telling me about their projects and their various products. It was, uh, it was very interesting. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.